Keterve, everyone, and welcome to Monday, July 29th, 2024. I'm Joe Pratt, keeping you informed of what's happening in the world. Wildfires continue in the western United States, in California, Oregon, Idaho, and Colorado. The biggest of these is in California, where 373,000 acres have been burned, the biggest so far this year, and this one was started intentionally by a guy guy who pushed a car, a burning car, that is, down into a ravine. Venezuela has re-elected President Maduro, but the man he ran against says that they have proof there was fraud in the election. Edmundo Gonzalez says he actually won. Gonzalez called a news conference and told the country that they have 70% of the tally sheets and they show Gonzalez ahead. Independent exit polling and partial results show that Gonzalez won twice as many votes as Maduro. Several countries have expressed skepticism about the results, including Spain, Italy, Colombia, Brazil, and the United States. After his speech, thousands of people took to the streets in protest. Hezbollah launched a rocket from Lebanon into Israel that killed 12 kids on a soccer field. The rocket landed in the Golan Heights, and Israel is weighing its strategy and options for how to respond. Today was day three of the Olympic Games, not including Friday's opening ceremony. At this point, the U.S. leads the medal count with 20 medals, and host country France is second with 16 medals. Japan and China have 12 each, and Great Britain has 10. Uh, Japan, France, and China have more gold medals than the, U than the U.S., which only has three. Uh, J uh, let's see, Japan has six gold, and France and China have five. Uh, Simone Biles will be competing in women's gymnastics despite a calf injury. And in a related story, there was an Olympic event that was only held one year, and there were only five contestants that year. It was called a distance plunge. You dove into the water from only 18 inches high, and then you floated motionless for as long as you could, laying perfectly still with your head underwater, just as far as you could go until you had to lift your head to breathe. Well, that's where they marked how far you had gone. I guess they figured it was too boring to watch or hardly anyone had an interest in competing. The world record and the longest mark that year in 1904 was 62 feet 6 inches. Now, she was also known as the Flying Housewife. That was Fanny Blankers Cohen competed in the post-war Olympic Games. They were known as the Austerity Games because there just was not money to even provide towels for the Olympic contestants. Uh, Blankers Cohen was pregnant at the time, but she won four gold medals at the London Games in 1948. She won the 100 meters, the 800 meter hurdles, set an Olympic record in the 200 meters, and then anchored the 4 by 100 le uh, relay for her country, which was the Netherlands. And she was chosen as the Female Athlete of the Century by the International Association of Athletics Federations. Carl Lewis was chosen as the Male Athlete of the Century. Customer traffic at fast food restaurants went down by 2% the first half of this year, Inflation is the cause, according to the restaurants themselves and financial analysts. Strong thunderstorms brought flash flooding to Tennessee, including Dollywood Amusement Park. One injury was reported, but the guests were escorted to safety and the park closed temporarily. Happy birthday if it's yours today. You share a birthday with Walter Hunt, the inventor of the safety pin and the sewing machine. Uh, Alexis de Tocqueville, Charles Schwab, Peter Jennings, Martina McBride, Will Wheaton, and Fernando Alonso, Formula One auto racer. Today's quote from the sacred works of the world's religions comes from the Dhammapada. Quote, 
Speak the truth. Do not give way to anger. Give of your little to him that asks of you. By these three things, one may go to the realm of gods. Unquote. An 11-year-old from India decided to take it upon herself to start a library. So she went around the neighborhood collecting used books from people and uh, gathered almost 6,000 books and was able to open six different libraries in her area. Um, the books were written in three languages, Hindi, Telugu, and English. And a sign on the side of the road reads, I told the carpenter not to carpet my steps. He gave me a blank stare. Joe Pratt, make it a great day.